Hello, everybody. It's the Drive School Podcast. I'm Pastor Goodman, and joining me is Erica Jacoby, Executive Director of Higher Things and Professional Thinker Gooder. Uh, <laughs> that won't title. fit on my that won't fit on my name badge. That's appalling. Yeah, we have to make That's it work. Word that I use, and I'm really proud of myself for it. Uh, <laughs> Which one, Gooder? Yes. Okay. There's a lot of letters in there. A lot of them are vowels too. Good job, buddy here for you. Um, so be here for me and teach me how to use my think melon. Uh, we're talking about think logical melon. fallacies, logical fallacies. When you, uh, when you think poorly, it ends poorly. So uh, yeah. we, we need you to think, think good, think well. Think gooder, you said, gooder. Remember, good. this is not a grammar class. <laughs> we'll take that on a different day. Another day. I got to clean right, up so What grammar. are we doing today? Oh, I'm so excited because this is appeal to authority fallacy. That must be fun to talk about as the executive director of the organization. <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, are you picking up what I'm laying down? Uh, <laughs> Just because my boss to, says so, it must be true. you're the authority. <laughs> All right, what is, what is the job. appeal to authority fallacy? Then? So it's basically this. This one's pretty simple. Just because someone in a position of power or authority believes something is true, it doesn't make it true. And it uh, it can't be kind of the foundation upon which your argument rests, right? It doesn't, it doesn't prove your argument. So for example, um, I don't know if this is true. I'm totally making this up. And I don't even know if the kids listen to her still, but I think they do. So for example, eating cookies, here's my, here's my um, um, appeal to authority fallacy argument. Okay. Eating cookies for breakfast is awesome to do because Ariana Grande eats cookies for breakfast every day. And look at her pop star yeah. success, lovely yeah. young lady. That's why we bought that bucket of cookies last time we were out. We did. There's a whole Kids. bucket full of cookies. At the baseball game, entire bucket of cookies. It must be okay because Ariana Grande does it. I feel better about that decision now. Um, right? But also I felt um, bloated and gross. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. this is the problem with, with the appeal to authority. It happens in the church too. Um, this is actually no. a really important thing. Yeah. Surprise. Uh, <laughs> people in the church make mistakes. Um, and and it's, it's especially challenging because in the church, there, there are authority structures. Um, yes. So there, there are, are synods, there are pastors, there are in some cases like popes, the guy who says he's in and you're not saying you're not saying that that organized structure is a bad thing, right? There's no, the fourth fact, commandment. A lot of times it's helpful yes. um, right. to, to sort of keep everything organized. Um, I'm really glad that I'm not the boss of higher things because <laughs> that involves hey. a whole lot of stuff I don't want to do. Um, but uh, I, Wait at a the minute. same time, just being the boss doesn't make you right. Um, and, and so this is this is something that we actually thought about as Lutherans and, and simply yeah. in can councils err. So Luther famously stood before uh, the, the, the council and, and said, look, you guys can mess up where our appeal is not based on uh, reason. It's not based on the Pope. It's based on God's word and God's word alone. And if you, even as the Pope, the, the, the chief of all the, the people here on earth say, otherwise God's word is right. You can appeal to the authority that you have in your position all you want, but you can't actually change reality by it. Um, and, and so we need to check reality uh, based on what our authority figures are saying and hope that then they would support reality. Um, and, and when they're wrong, 